Hey guys, what's up? It's Nuclear Videos HD, and I'm here with the latest update for The Simpsons Tapped Out. Today we're here with a very strange update called the Road to Riches update. Whether it's really a full-fledged update is kind of debatable, but it was released with the Time Traveling Toaster update, as you guys may have seen from my part one of that video uh, series. But um, it's kind of a small, weird update. And I'm not really sure what to think of it so far because it seems like it's been really overshadowed by the time traveling toaster update. So not really, not really many people are talking about this. But uh, I think it's honestly a really cool concept if it is what I think it is. Um, so I guess we'll talk a little bit about it first. So pretty much, what the game offers is there's these things called um, as uh, I'm sorry, aspirational prizes, aspirational buildings, and there's a couple of decoration ones as well. Pretty much what these are are giant um, kind of eyesore looking buildings that are worth an insane amount of in-game cash. And their purpose really is for players to collect a lot of um, a lot of cash once they've completed everything in the game, kind of just all the cash that they earn they can spend on these things to kind of have a long-term goal. Um, these were just available through the store as um, as level updates came out, which they have ceased to do level updates. They don't do them anymore, but when level updates did come out, sometimes these aspirational prizes would come. And I've done a full video on all the aspirational prizes. There's about 10 of them. Um, a couple of the examples are the... Um, magnifying glass, the escalator to nowhere, and the popsicle stick tower, as well as the sun sphere, the um, sit and rotate, the crusty burger oil rig. Those are aspirational buildings because they are worth multi millions of uh, in game cash. I believe that one of them is worth like 10 million. I think the sit and rotate is worth 10 million. Well, anyway, because we don't have any more level updates and the game wants to give us these aspirational prizes, they have. Uh, included this Road to Riches update, which is going to be our way to kind of earn these aspirational prizes. Um, what's cool about these is that uh, it's not like a single update. It seems that they're going to keep updating it by this uh, little coming soon little indicator over here. Um, maybe every update or every other update or whenever they please, they're just going to include another one of these prizes to unlock. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the whole gist of it. Um, there was a small bit of dialogue that came out with the um, with the time traveling toasters update that included Cecil. If you guys don't have him, um, he <clears throat> he came with um, sorry he came with the Terrilligers update a couple years ago. But if you did not have him, he is unlockable for free through this event. You just have to go through a little bit of dialogue, and he's pretty much going to be the one to help you. Uh, unlock these buildings. So instead of earning in-game cash to purchase these buildings, what you're going to do is you're going to want to invest. So for the Springfield Dam, you're going to want to invest $20 million. Now that is the most expensive thing we have in the game so far. Um, I'm sure that these two prizes back here are going to be worth a hell of a lot more, so I don't want to know. But, um, but uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to invest. And how you invest, you unlock Cecil, obviously, and you go to him, okay? And he has his regular tasks that he had from the Terrilla update. But now he has these other tasks where he can invest. And what you can do is he can pour money into Follies for $1 million, subsidize the wealthy for $5 million, and bail out Project for $10 million. So I think this is going to cost me $10 million if I click on this. I'm kind of scared because that's a huge amount. But we're going to click on it anyway. So, yeah, I just clicked on it, and boom, there goes 10 million of my cash. So he's going to go and bail out a project, and for four donuts, I can speed up his $10 million, um, $10 million task. So, if we go and check over here. There we go. So now I have 10 out of the 20 million. And I... F so we're going to have to do this again, because uh, obviously we need to get the 20 million. It's only worth 10 and uh, it's kind of unfortunate for players who don't have as much cash as I do. I, um, you know, the whole deal with me. So it's a bit harder for players to unlock these if they're just average players who don't have the capacity to send Cecil on these tasks because they are quite expensive. Um, 
So yeah, so we just unlocked the Springfield hydroelectric dam. We'll go and place that down. I'm not even sure if I have any room for this thing at the moment. Oh, yes, I do. All right, so place it right there. Cool. A responsible society must, from time to time, embrace the redistribution of wealth. Come on, 99%. Time to give, give, give to your betters. All right, so, oh my god, this one I need to invest 40 million, and this one... Oh, well, we can't see that one yet. But uh, we just leveled up again. And it says it looks good with rivers. So I want to see how this looks if we have rivers connected to it. Because I think we can do... Oh, what? I don't know. It shows that we can have a river, right? Like, this is making no sense right here. Because the building itself... Shows that you can connect rivers. Oh, wait, maybe... There we go. I think we gotta do that. Wait, no? What? What the heck, man? Oh, wait. There we go. So that's how you connect it to a river. Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. So, alright. Yeah, so this thing is really cool because you can connect it to one of your existing rivers, and that's how you do it. It was a bit confusing at first, but uh, I got the hang of it. So... We'll move some of this stuff just to make a bit of room here. And I'm not sure. Uh, I guess you can just do something like that. And it kind of... Yeah, that, that makes sense. So, it's pretty cool. And uh, I've wanted the hydroelectric dam in the game for a really long time. And now that we finally have it, it's just so... Ch it's just so awesome. So when you click on it... It gets a big crack in the side. Wow. And uh, it's got some fog animation. There's some wildlife. We got this bird flying. There's a squirrel that's running around over there. So that's that. Pretty cool. And do I dare get the next prize? I'm kind of scared. Um, so we'll go make Cecil bail out more projects, which is even more expensive. And we'll just keep on making him bail out these projects. And uh, I'm already seeing my cash down over at the bottom uh, decreasing, which sucks. I had like 21 million before, and now I'm really, really, or what was it, like 200 million before, and now I'm starting to um, decrease a lot. So, the mansion gardens have been placed in your inventory. So, now we can place down these mansion uh, garden things. The outcry was negative on my last project. Now I build for all the people. And I'll leave it up to the populace to decide the direction of my next project. Let's blow up Springfield Elementary. An arena where deep purples forced to perform day and night for the rest of their natural lives. So long as it has beer with free liquor and a strict no AA sponsors allowed policy, we're good. And make Shelbyville pay for it. Just a note, we can't make Shelbyville pay for it. Oh, that sucks. Oh my god, this is going to cost 80 million. Oh my god. Whew. I don't even want to see that. So, we'll go and place this stuff down. Check it out. And, uh, you know it's really bad when I'm actually stressing out about paying for stuff. Because this is a lot of stuff to take on. So, this is all this stuff is actually meant to be placed by Mr. Burns' mansion. It's, uh... I believe it's all stuff included in Mr. Burns' kind of uh, backyard. So, if you want to do a cool design with this stuff, then you are more than welcome to. Got some trees. Mansion Garden Tree Line. And I believe that's it, right? Alright. So, these are the stuff. We have this cool fountain. Does not do anything. We have this cool little dome. This little fountain, this little fountain, this little pond pool. Uh, we got this little fence over here. This little, um, I don't even know, flower pot. And this cool little line of trees. So all this stuff is going to look cool by Mr. Burns' mansion, which I will decorate that in a little bit. And last but not least, we will get the final prize, which is 80 million, oh my god, which is a rock and a hard place. So we'll send him to bail out more projects. Man, I am going to be broke after this.
and uh, geez. Um, yeah, I'm going to be broke after this. Well, anyway, uh, The Rock and The Hard Place, I believe, are both from, well, it's one thing, but it's from the Simpsons movie, which is pretty cool, now that we're actually getting stuff from the movie, because I remember back a few years ago, it was, like, unheard of to get stuff from the Simpsons movie, but now we're actually getting stuff from it, which is really cool. Alright, how many more of these we have left? You're bleeding me dry here. Oh man, I'm losing all my money right now. It's it just really sucks. How many more do I have left? Jeez. There we go. We unlocked it. So we'll go and place this thing down. Hopefully it's worth 80 million cash. This is the most expensive thing in the game by far. It has just become the most expensive thing in the entire game by 8 8 what is it? 80%, 800%. I think 800%, yeah. Or, yeah, 800%. Okay. Congratulations, you completed Rock and Hard Place. So we'll finish building Heads this. Up. So that's where buildings come from. So, when you click on it... Oops, book opened. It makes this sound. Kind of like a rock being smashed sound. Homer can make Homer experience what irony. The? I thought this was a game! So Homer's got a cool task for which we'll go and send him on. And... Where is he? Oh, he's getting swung between the rock and the hard place, just like from the Simpsons movie. So that is really cool. I wouldn't say that this animation is worth 80 million in-game cash, which it definitely isn't, and it doesn't even earn any rate. I mean, for 80 million cash, they could make this earn donuts, and it would still not even be worth it. But, uh... That's pretty much it for the Rags to the Riches update for now. Like I said, there's going to be a lot more stuff added in later on, obviously, through the coming soon kind of spoiler feature over here. Thank you guys for watching. I know this was kind of stressful seeing my cash decline like that. That uh, is really tough, and I do feel really bad for players who don't have as much cash as I do because, oh man, it's going to take you years and years to earn that much cash for this stuff, which is really unfortunate. But, uh... It is what it is, I guess, and, uh, you know, EA makes the rules. So anyway, thank you guys again for watching. I really do appreciate your uh, tuning in to my videos. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys again for watching. Keep on tapping, and peace out.